Seven years after Hurricane Katrina blew through New Orleans, the effects of that storm are still being felt in many parts of the city. A group of UBC students recently traveled there to study the effects of what is known as disaster or volunteer tourism. I think now, especially with the global media, what you have uh, are all kinds of occasions in which we're kind of confronted by death and disaster. I think so disaster tourism and what's also called thanatourism uh, is a kind of a, a way of people to kind of reconnect in some way, it's sort of maybe at the deep theoretical level. But at the same time, people are also very interested in uh, the extraordinary. We always want to have more and more extraordinary experiences. And so disaster tourism sort of fulfills that, that idea of kind of looking upon something that's unique and extraordinary. And so that's also part of the drivers, one of the drivers, I think, of, of disaster tourism. Uh, also, there could be a notion of, of helping as well that's built into that. Like people do go on disaster tours because they know this kind of helps to rebuild the economy as well. So nine students, plus myself, we, we went down to New Orleans. Um, part of an experiential learning component to a couple of the courses that I'm teaching. One, sociology of tourism, the other one, uh, qualitative research methods. So people from, who, if they elected to, they could choose to do a project connected to uh, doing research on the recovery of the Lower Ninth Ward and also on uh, the phenomenon of volunteer tourism. Because of the presence of volunteers from some particular areas of the country, uh, economically these places are kind of booming because they're coming back and they're, people are actually building more and bigger and better houses uh, but not the Lower Ninth Ward. That's, people are barely hanging on uh, in the Lower Ninth Ward and, and some of the, of course, um, for people that are on a fixed income and many of the people that came back to the Lower Ninth Ward were elderly, it was more of an elderly community. A lot of those folks that have come back are on a fixed income and so we've got increased hydro rates, increased water rates, and, and that's having a real impact in terms of people even just being able to survive day to day. In the Lower Ninth, I definitely saw just flat surfaces um, where houses used to be, a lot of old, just, it's, it's kind of haunting. Abandoned houses everywhere, um, they still have the X's on from when they went through, like it's all, it's a little shocking seven years later to see how little has been done. We had seven schools in the Lower Ninth Ward before Katrina. We have one school. Oh my God. That's criminal. Yes. That's, wow. You know, 65% of this property was owned by elderly people. We have less than 5% of them back. This was huge for my education just because the practical, like you hear all the objective things about like when you're studying and doing research, but to have that subjective experience actually be down there, conduct your own research and just like be active in your education, that was huge. Because now I, I don't know if I want to be a teacher anymore. I love doing research, so it's, it was pretty life changing. Several reasons why students need to be engaged in that kind of hands-on learning experience. And the first reason, I think, is it helps to develop a lot of uh, interpersonal skills, uh, it helps people to take initiative, it helps to kind of uh, overcome notions of difference and, and find a commonality with people that they might not actually have before. So as much as possible when we're down there, we try to interact with the local people at a kind of a very human level. And I think for a lot of folks, and me included, uh, you're encountering people that are radically different than you, that come from radically different circumstances, but at the same time have the same sort of global human concerns. And you find that out. And that's, I think that's an epiphany for a lot of folks that have come up and are maybe coming from a more sheltered background.